Hi there and welcome to Encode course. My name is Philip and I will be your instructor. In this course, you will learn how to create your own games from scratch in a JavaScript with Phaser framework. All concepts will be taught by creating real games, which we are going to publish on Facebook Instant Games. You will get understanding of concepts you can use in any other game development platform like Unity or Unreal Engine. Now, let's introduce briefly games and concepts you are going to work on. The first game will be a simple Flappy Bird clone. You will learn how to initialize the phaser game and how to use and manipulate physical concepts like gravity and velocity, among many others. We will show how to create different game objects, such as player and pipes blocking the way. You will learn how to reuse game objects, so every time pipe will reach the start of the screen, it will get recycled at the end. We will create a difficulty system and will keep the track of the score. Our game will contain multiple scenes, such as menu scene, score scene, pause scene and play scene. The second game will be more complicated. We will work on a platformer game, where the main character will be able to jump on platforms. The main goal of the game will be to collect as many diamonds as possible, avoid or eliminate enemies and make it to the second level. On the design of the map, we will be working in the tiled editor. I will show you how to create different tile and object layers, which we will later bring to the life in our game. You will learn how to create different types of attacks, like melee attacks or the launch projectiles. We will create different types of enemies and will animate them. We will work on a well-known detection concept called raycasting, which will create completely from the scratch. The player will be able to receive damage from enemies and traps, and when the health will reach zero or the player will fall off the platform, game will be lost and restarted. Our game will have multiple levels that will be unlocked after the player will reach the finish line. Unlocked levels will be displayed in the level scene, and upon the reaching the last level, game will be finished and the credits will be displayed. Guys, that should be from the preview. There is much much more covered in the lectures, so I hope to see you in the course. Cheers!